So what? It doesn't want to ignite. I'm always pushing the boundaries and the envelope. I only focus on long-term survival. Living three days and trying to get back to society is a joke to me. Oh, I better make it back before I die. Well, if you just knew how to live permanently in the woods, then you can get back whenever you feel like it. We need to live with the land, not on it, not from it. Live with the land, improve the land, and that way your resources never go away. The leaves contain methyl salicylic acid. It's a precursor to aspirin. I know hundreds of plants that I can eat and I can make medicine out of. I prefer archery equipment over all other hunting gear because if my arrow breaks, I can just make more. If my bow breaks, I can make another one. I made this bow in six hours with just my knife. I do have a bunch of certifications. To me, it's just paper from people. You know, to me, the ultimate certification is the woods. There's a lot of coyote and fox sign around. I'm have to be careful tonight. There are kill sites, litter the area, and just right around the corner. A very active den. When somebody says that they're the ultimate survivalist, that just tells me that they're a beginner. The ultimate survivalist is the people that came before us. The earliest case was Native Americans, when people were truly self-reliant of all manufactured gear except the things that they made themselves. Definitely looking forward to building a shelter. I'm warm as I'm walking. But I know once I stop, I'm gonna get real cold. The longest I've lived with the land in the woods alone will probably be a week or two. Going out long term would be a huge challenge. The hardest thing for me to leave behind would be my wife and my daughter. There's no question about that. This will be a culmination of everything that I've been working towards for my whole life. Everything I've learned has been constantly accumulating this and practicing this for this.